forward from Zarek. A flick from Abu Zaid. And then Wilkins, stronger than Tarek in the tackle. Gordon Cowan's absolutely thrilled to be here and linking up with England again. Santum and Haisley. And beaten away by El Fatal. Stephen, England lead. And their first goal on African soil goes to Trevor Stephen. After 13 minutes. Egypt couldn't cope with the power of Haisley. And although El Batal punched the ball out, Trevor Stephen following up provided the perfect finish. Magdi. Egypt's best spell so far. And Stephen thought twice about closing down Tarek. And he got away from him. And then, the blind header. And an athletic save from Peter Shilton. Hassan, who's called in in the last moment to replace the injured El Khatib, almost contributing an equaliser. Shilton to England's rescue. Tarek. Yassi. And Abu Zid. Back to Omar. Sterling work from Shilton again. Asaf. Egypt wants a penalty this time and they're not going to get it. Well, a fixture that has had some criticism, really, in terms of whether it would be useful to England. It's certainly compelling enough here in the first half of the first half, with England leading through Trevor Stephen, but Peter Shilton having to save twice at his very best to keep Egypt at bay. And here's Tarek again. And Benick can only direct it back whence it came. Hassan and Shilton a third time. He's keeping England alive. Hassan again showing his strength in the air. But there's the strength of Shilton for all to see. Control the play here. Hayley was fortunate to get a second bite at it, and when he did, he brought El Batal into action again. He's very forceful on the left foot, Mark Hayley, and having got the run of the ball, he let fly very much in the manner which led to England's goal, but this time the goalkeeper secured the ball. Wilkins, there's a lot of room in midfield. If England can control the ball. Oh, an own goal, surely, by Omar. A gift for England from the Egypt right back. A desperate moment for him. A very fortunate one for Bobby Robson's side. After 41 minutes. Hanson has jogged forward ahead of Fennec and give England extra numbers in attack. Cowan. Wilkins. That was shrewdly done. Instantly done too from Ray Wilkins for Trevor Stephen. And Wyatt marks his first international game with a goal. He's been showing a scoring touch for Southampton recently. Five goals in his last five club games. And he's brought that touch with him here to Cairo. Delight for Wallace. 3-0 in the 52nd minute. That was Zaid. And Wilson will know all about him. Four times he has made the England goalkeeper on his toes. Beardley allowed to turn. And here's Cowan. Given time to strike it and he struck it very cleanly indeed. And that's a tremendous moment for Cowan. 
who was thrilled to be called back by Bobby Robson and to celebrate that call with a goal really icing his cake 